Well, hi there. <laughs> this is Shane from Shane's Books and Review. And you caught me sitting here with nothing to do. You guys and gals have said, maybe we would like to have some things that are a little bit different, or maybe we'd like to hear your opinion on this, that, and the other. And there's several topics. So this is a poll video since I'm nowhere near big enough to actually have a poll, even if polls are still a thing on YouTube. I don't think they are, they might be. Now, here's the poll, here's the questions. There's several things that we've been kicking around ideas about to do. One of them is something that I've always enjoyed. I don't really get to spend a whole lot of time playing with it, but this would give me an excuse to, and that would happen to be this thing called SCP, Secure, Contain, Protect. Essentially, it's a collection of stories that were wrote, but we've been thinking about making a series about those. We've actually pre-recorded some things, some test footage. I would be curious to know if that would be something that you guys and gals would be interesting, or even if you've ever heard about it. So in this one, the questions would be, have you ever heard of SCP? Are you interested in it? And would you like to see something different from just this sort of a thing? There would be a little bit of acting. There would be a little bit of CGI. There would be some action sequences. But but we've got a very unique idea on how to show it. And that's the thing that I think is the most interesting about it is how we would go about doing it. So there's that. A secondary thing is, I've mentioned it multiple times, what I do in life versus this is I'm a computer person. I have been for a very long time. I mean, it all all started long, long ago. Maybe creating a, a new channel for it and having a tutorial-based thing for computers. Yeah, sure, there's a dime of a dozen, but that channel would be completely different from this one. And so the behavior, the monikers, the words, the language, uh, even the stylizations of things would be completely different from what we see. And I think it would be interesting because there's all kinds of things that I could share that would help people that don't know anything. But if I were to do something, Something like that we would need to have some help launching it and i don't mean money i'm not getting at that what i am getting at is sharing it to as many people as we can so if you guys and gals would like to have something like that that is option number two and let's get over there to the third thing i've been thinking about uh games developing and making a game i've noticed that in the short period of time that i've been playing with that that there's a lot of tutorials but they're so locked into what they're doing in the tutorial there's not a whole lot of explanation of why I would want to do this this way and then how that can be applied. And that, that's a thing that we can do. It would open a lot of people up to things that they wouldn't necessarily try, I think. And then the third one, there's a project that I've been hinting at. It went away just because of time. But that other project was bringing a book to life. There's a couple of other ideas that I had had where it was more like a kid's type of a channel for narrations and writing unique children's stories and then having it where it was shown in a particular way that would be family friendly because there was a lot of really bad quality videos that were out but the only issue that I would have with something like that was just simply enough put you couldn't really handle logistically reading stories that are copyrighted so anything that was new that had come out like for instance like a Harry Potter I couldn't do something like that, but we could rewrite the stories for children from the past so that we could read those sorts of things. And then there was also another thing that we had thought about and kicked around, and that was just shorts, short films, short little ideas. I mean, even if it was a one or two minute thing, just high production, those sorts of things, do any of those sound appealing to you? And if they do, awesome. Now there's one person that has made a comment that is just stuck in my head where they wanted to have me do a opinion based thing. So more like a, I wouldn't say like a, a news podcast or something like that but more along the lines of giving opinions on stuff and oh boy do i got some opinions i've got all kinds of them actually would something like that be interesting that's the main question it's not that i'm worried about the channel's future i do this because i like to do this on our our book channel I expect that to always be small and I want it to stay kind of like that. I want to build us a, a community that's solid whenever it comes to being able to talk about books and to share opinions about things or I like this or I don't like this or check this out. If an opinion based thing would be interesting, what kind of opinions would you guys and gals be looking for? <coughs> Scraps, don't you dare splash that up about a virus. It's up to you guys and gals what we're going to do. I know what my things that I gravitate towards are, but I'm not the average citizen in that regard. <laughs> As Phil DeFranco would say, love your faces. I hope that you've had a good week and that you're being safe. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. I'm not sure which video YouTube's gonna pick over here. And this video is for us, so don't go sharing it. You can like it, but don't, don't you dare share it because I'm curious to see what you think, not what they think.